I think my first impression of Trevelcombe was just the, the sheer beauty of the place. Top of the world! When I go home and tell people about this, one, it's the beauty. Uh, two, it's the simplicity of getting here. If you can get that direct flight to Queenstown, you then hop in a car, 45 minutes of beautiful scenery. You're at a wonderful Wanaka, right on the lake. I just think that, that, that for the sheer beauty of this place, for the, the simplicity of getting here, of getting on the slope straight away. The accommodation is all pristine. I mean, the place we're staying at, we've never stayed in a better place. I think you looked after us and spoiled us with the, the apartment, but we've been driving around as you come here to Triple Cone. You know, it's not as big, it's not as complex. You can park your car next to the rental place, get your rentals, you're straight onto the lift. Literally parked 15 minutes ago and now we're gonna be skiing, so it's, it's wonderful. First impression was that it was a really big mountain, which is fantastic because I mean, there's lots of slopes to ski on. It's a really wide mountain with two chairlifts. And even going up the other side, you can go all the way down and come down this one. So it's a really long ski. I think again, I've never really skied spring. And, and just to see the quality of the snow, a foot of cover still, and the fact that it was just so skiable. You know, you've got the two lifts, the six seater and the four seater, and you're sort of thinking, well, you'll be a bit restricted in relation to how many runs you've got, but the variety was just spectacular. Josh is having today his third day of boarding, so he had just one day of boarding back home. And the mountain here, the, in the main basin, just caters beautifully for that. And then if you want to get a little bit more challenging, you duck across and it's very easy. There's no hard work to get across there to the Saddle Basin. And, and my older daughter, who's, who's now 20, I mean, she loves a bit of speed. For someone who likes to go quickly, it's also perfect. We had no idea what a hidden treasure this was. It was great, it was challenging. There's right from just this place with the magic carpet behind us for the beginners to setting off and, and you know, varying degrees of, of complexity to getting over there and, and really taking on a bit of challenge. And I suppose also, um, I've never ever skied where you don't have to wait for a lift. Uh, it was wonderful. My first impression was just the absolutely stunningly beautiful. I was just uh, amazed at the, the natural scenery, just how gorgeous it was. And then arriving here and wandering through the town, I, I, I said to Nick, I said, it's, it's such a pretty little town. It's got everything and it's, it's so clean. It's so, it looks so new, but everything just looked fresh and, and, and fantastic. I'd really recommend it, um, particularly friends that, that have got kids. We have a lot of friends that, that uh, love to ski and I think it's an ideal location to, for families to come to. It's uh, got some wonderful restaurants and places to eat, both daytime and nighttime, and lots for the kids. I mean, my boys have loved the, loved the playground down here. They're, they've been dying to use the, the skate park, so there's certainly plenty of, of things to do, as well as obviously all the more adventure sports when they get a bit older. Having three nights, I mean, we just packed a hell of a lot in, you know, two and a half days of great skiing. The jet boating, you know, which we've all done before, but just beautiful scenery and to get the, you know, a bit of the background to the, to the land and to the mountains and to the glaciers and, and, and how the whole landscape was carved out was great. majesty and the enormity of that glacier and that uh, rugged landscape. But I think that was something we'll never ever forget and then he took us up over an escarpment and just before we went over it he said, so you guys know what a roller coaster feels like? Up over and then whoa, you know, down into this amazing valley that then went on to Lake Wanaka and uh, that was special and something we'll never ever forget as a, as a family. But to get away to a place like this, uh, quaint, Good little restaurants, um, affordable, it's a special place. You know, pick your mountains that uh, Triple Panel didn't.